DJ Next element is we have some glitchy little samples that I'm using, and I actually uh, really big fan of Tipper, and I was listening to a couple of Tipper tracks before I wrote this, and I was like, you know, I'd really like to make sounds like that, and I figured, hmm, well, I'm already sampling Lady Gaga, and this can't be officially released on a record label, so may as well go to town with the sampling. So what these are are actually little bits from Tipper percussion in his tracks. <laughs> Tipper's sound design is just brilliant, which is why I sampled it instead of making my own. So a couple things we have on here is we have a wow filter, high passing it, adding a little bit of overdrive. We have the auto panner again. We've got EQ8 to trim out a lot of the low end, which we don't need, and trimming out some of the high end. And then we have a, what a lot of people call a metal delay. And what this is is a simple delay from Ableton. And I'm using this to create space around the element instead of using a reverb. A lot of times I don't like the sound of reverb, reverb especially in dance tracks because it can really muddy things up and a lot of times you can achieve better results using a very very short delay. So what I've done is I'm using the two channels with independent times and I've taken it off sync so I'm able to dial in specifically the number of milliseconds. So in the left channel I'm using 50 milliseconds, the right channel I'm using 73 milliseconds. And you just give it a little bit of feedback and a little bit of wet dry, and it'll give it some space around the sound. So if we, for example, let's just listen to this and crank up the wet dry so you can hear what I'm talking about. So what that's doing is it's kind of creating the same thing to early reflections in a reverb. So as a sound emanates and it reflects off the closest surfaces, you get these slapbacks or early reflections, and that's really what this is simulating without all the little tiny decay that you get with a reverb. So I just like the sound of it on some elements, and I chose to use it in this case. And then the last plugin we have on our glitch effects here is Isotope Ozone, which is a mastering plugin, but I also actually use it on different elements in my track, specifically for stereo widening. So if we go here, you can see I'm using only the stereo imaging aspect of it, and I'm using stereo imaging on the top two bands to spread and widen the signal out. I'm actually using quite a bit of delay here as well. It's a 2.4 millisecond delay, which gives it a really, really wide, wide image, because I want to basically take the center out of it, allow room for my kick and snare and bass, and have these elements kind of panned and, and going around the, the left and right channels in the stereo spectrum. Next, if we move forward, there's a shaker, and the shaker basically comes in and just holds down a 16th pattern at a couple points in the track. So it's a, a loop, sample loop that I'm using, and I'm basically just adding some extreme high passing to it. I've got a gate, and I've got a compressor. And you can hear it's kind of a humanized uh, swung sample, so I like the sound of the loop, and I just don't want the decay in it from the gate, so... You can hear there's a lot of reverb on it, so I just like the, the little ticks that come through from the shaker. That's why I use the gate on it. Next, we've got some toms, and those come in in the intro, and they add a nice kind of syncopated feel to the percussion. And these ones, what do we have going on here? So we've got the frequency range boxed in, boxed in again, and you'll notice this, this a lot. This is a good habit to get into, is to sculpt your frequency ranges only into the elements that you're using. So think of an audio track like a piece of clay and you're a sculptor and the EQ is your chisel or whatever. I'm not a sculptor so I don't know what the hell they do but basically you're using the EQ like a scalpel or a chisel to carve out the sections that you don't want to create your your audio track. So I really like the EQ8 in Ableton because it has the little box in pieces here it allows you to basically just hard um, high pass or low pass different sections on the end and you can just dial it right in to box in your sound in this case I don't want high end I don't want a lot of the low end I just want that mid-range punch of the toms and again I'm using a gate I'm using Ableton saturator and a compressor so let's just listen how this sounds 
Now, if we took the gate off, again, the gate is taking out a lot of the decay, and there's a lot of reverb on this, so let's just listen to it without the gate so you can hear what it sounds like. So again, just using the gate to shorten up the sample. And I should mention the compressor settings here. You can see I'm using some pretty hard compression. I have the, the ratio or the threshold way down. I have the ratio up a bit. And I have the attack backed off to about 50 milliseconds. And that's a setting that I use on a lot of my percussion is it allows the crack of the attack to come through and then compresses the rest of the hit. So it gives it a nice punch and shapes the envelope of the sound. All right. And the last element I have in here is a riser, or something I call a riser. It's basically a, a rising pitch or, or rising effect sound that I use for transitions. So those are essential for the end of your phrase. So with dance music, it all moves in eight bar phrases. And in this case, what I'm looking for is a way to transition from one phrase into the other. It, it builds a little bit, bit of anticipation. Uh, you can also do it with drum fills. A lot of times in tracks, though, I like to have some type of white noise sample or an atmospheric effect or a rising pitch sound. When you get good at the transitions in between the sections of your track, it'll give it a really nice natural flow and people will be able to anticipate and expect the next section coming in. So that wraps up our beats. Next, we're going to move on to the bass. DJ, that's best, 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 best,